hi people welcome back to my channel and today i'm gonna be showing you another tutorial and i'm gonna be using a leftover fabric from a previous project if you are here to check that out i'm gonna link it um, above and i'm also gonna link it in the description box below so i'm gonna use be using a leftover fabric from that project and uh, making uh, an overall today so if you want to make an overall and you don't know where to start or you don't have a pattern to use and so this tutorial is going to be very very useful to you and you just have to make sure that you watch it right through to the end if you're new to my channel it's so good to have you here don't forget to hit that subscribe button okay and also turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos so yeah. without talking too much without taking too much of your time let's jump into today's tutorial so um the width of the fabric that i'm gonna be using will be 13 inches so i'm just gonna uh, draw a line here where the 13 inches ended um, and also mark a starting point at the top of the fabric So then from that starting point you want to mark um, 3 inches inwards from the folded edge and you want to go ahead now and mark 5 inches in from the other side. So from the folded edge go ahead and mark 22 inches. Um, this is the measurement for your crotch so you want to measure from where your Overall is going to sit on your chest straight through to your crotch. So that's the measurement that you need to put here So then I'm going to connect that three inches point to the crotch area and make sure to curve the connection So on the other side now you want to mark down um, 10 inches from the starting point and connect the two points and connect the 5 inches point to the 10 inches point using a ruler or you can freehand it. So for the bottom part you want to mark um, you want to mark in 5 inches from the folded edge and connect that to your crotch area so once you're done doing that you're ready to cut out the pattern for the front piece So the width of the fabric for the um, back area is going to be half an inch wider. So it's going to be 13 and a half in this case. So you, so then from the folded edge, you want to go ahead and mark in three and a half inches. And then mark your crotch area, which is 22. Then connect the two lines. So from the other side, you want to mark six inches in and mark 11 inches downwards and connect the two lines then from the bottom you want to mark in five and a half inches and then connect that point to the crotch area like we did for the front So once you finish doing that, you're ready to cut out the back piece as well. So now that I have my front and back pieces, 
I'm gonna pin them together like so and then take that to the sewing machine so now I'm just going to sew together the top part of the crotch area so now that I'm done with that I'm gonna hem um, the part that is going to form the pinafore uh, part of the overall then I'm gonna cut out my pocket piece and attach that to the top part of the front piece So once I finish attaching the pocket, I can then go ahead and match the two pieces together and start the pinning together from the crotch area and also match the outside seams. So once all that is pinned together, I'm going to take that to the sewing machine and sew everything together. Now what's left to do is to do the shoulder straps and also just hem the bottom part of the legs. And there you have it. Um, the overall is done. Um, I decided to change the size of the pocket and also the position of the front pocket and then remove the ones and um, the extra ones that are added to the um, waist area of the overall. I like the way this one looks and I hope you guys have found this video very useful. If you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also let me know your thoughts in the comment section guys and please don't forget to subscribe and Thank you for watching and I hope to see you on my next video.